Hello, my friends. This video is all about my favorite ways to self-care and nourish yourself. I thought this was really appropriate with Valentine's Day right around the corner, but you want to use these tips and rituals that I'm going to offer all year round. When we are feeling centered and full ourselves, we are able to show up and shine our light so much brighter for everyone else in our life. So even if it seems selfish to take the time out to do some of these self-care rituals that I'm going to suggest, honestly, everyone in your life is going to thank you for it. Okay, so number one is to take a really amazing hot bath. I know it's so obvious, but whether you are male or female, it just feels amazing to be submerged in hot water. You can light some candles in your bathroom, and of course, you're gonna wanna use a really amazing bath bomb. So if you're on a budget, you can just opt for Epsom salts. If you can splurge on a bath bomb, I absolutely love the ones at Lush, and of course, at Beauty by Earth. This is a healing bath bomb, and I'm actually going to be giving this and some other things away. So you definitely want to tune in to this whole video to learn about how you can win the Valentine's Day giveaway. Number two, when you get out of that bath, another ritual I really like to do to self-care is to, instead of rushing and putting clothes on right away, is to really put a lot of your favorite body lotion just all over your body and then just let it sit, let it set. So you're gonna to wanna to crank the heat up in your house, maybe just put on a little bathrobe and just let your skin absorb the deliciousness of whatever you've put on. My favorite body lotion right now is this Clenapure Rich Bath and Body Oil. It's 100% patchouli essential oil. It's absolutely amazing. You can see that I've used almost all of it. Once you have all the oil lathered up on the body, you can also do a face mask while you're sort of waiting for the oil to dry. And I love this, again, Beauty by Earth face mask. It Ugh, my skin just feels so clear and amazing after I use it and I'm gonna be giving this away as well. Number three self-care ritual is that I like to lie in bed with all my props, so I get every yoga prop I have. And of course, if you're interested in yoga props, I have some on my site. I also have a kit, always be stretching of my favorite props on my site. I get everything and I curl up in bed, I pull the covers over my head so I have a bolster under the knees, a little cervical neck pillow, I'm completely set, an eye pillow, and then I just put on a really relaxing guided meditation or really relaxing music. My grandmother, who's a genius, actually gave me this super soft cuddly headband that actually has speakers in it. So you put this around your head and it is basically headphones. You don't have to wear big bulky headphones or your iPhone headphones and you just plug this into your iPhone. So I'll listen to, again, meditations or music lying in bed with this around my head. Number four way to self-care is to take some time out, get some hot tea, a notebook, and do some journaling. I just did a podcast all about how I journal and how writing has been incredibly therapeutic in my life and in my yoga practice. So you definitely wanna check out that podcast if you haven't already. Taking some time to write, whether it's dumping your thoughts on the page, exploring your feelings, or just giving yourself some creative space to play is really powerful and I think super, super healing. And last but not least, my other favorite self-care ritual is to Connect a little bit with the spirit of the universe through drawing a card. So this is my favorite deck right now, the Goddess Oracle deck book set, and I will put the link to this below. There's so many great card decks out there, and whether you believe in you know, tarot or cards, just drawing the card I think is really nice just to, again, get you connected to the sense of something bigger than yourself, acknowledging that you want to slow down and maybe analyze your energy, that you're open to maybe what the universe wants to tell you through a card. And again, I really love this goddess deck because it also suggests meditations that you should do based on the goddess that you pick. So another thing you can do is just have a little self ceremony or invite some friends over and have tea and pull cards. Setting up a romantic mood for yourself for all of these things is really important so of course candles incense sage all of those things are just going to help you remind to slow down and that you're shifting into self-care whether it's time to pull a card or time to pull a bath dim your lights light candles light incense light sage and Hopefully, it'll really help you shift into a space where you're taking a break from everything that society demands of us, which is being so active 
and taking care of yourself and focusing on yourself instead. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked any of the self-care rituals I offered here or if anything I said resonated or touched your heart at all. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what are your self-care rituals. I'm always looking for new ideas. And as always, this is about our community. So if you want to comment below this video on YouTube, that's awesome. If you want to head over to our private Facebook group, yoga hacks community, all one word, dot com, and message me and we can all wish each other a happy Valentine's Day over there. That's great as well. I am going to be giving away my favorite bath bomb and favorite face mask by Beauty by Earth. To enter to win, all you have to do is leave a comment below this YouTube video on my private Facebook group or on Instagram and let me know your favorite ritual to self-care. Love yourself this Valentine's Day and every day. So much love from my heart to yours. Namaste.